We have a special message given today um, in honor of St. Dionysius, right? Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Ali. So most respected Achin, parents, and my brothers and sisters in Christ. I would first like to thank God Almighty for giving me this opportunity to speak with you all today about the great luminary of the Malangara Orthodox Church, St. Givergis Mar Dionysius of Vartasheril, whose memorial feast we are conducting today. St. Givergis Mar Dionysius of Vartasheril, or Vartasheril Thirumeni, was the 15th Metropolitan of the Malangara Orthodox Church. He is known as the great luminary of the church, a title that was bestowed upon him in recognition of his vast contributions to the church. He is an outstanding orator who understood the importance of the vitality and persuasiveness of the Bible when delivering speeches to the faithful. Prayers and fasting were the pillars of his spiritual foundation. And in addition to the liturgical hours of prayer, he spent a lot of time in silent meditations and private prayers behind closed doors. We all have read, learned, or heard about the various, uh, from various sources on how Thirumeni went through trials and tribulations over the course of 23 long years. He had visions about long-drawn court battles and later the construction of the Constitution that brought us the autocephaly that we enjoy. We were blessed to witness the election of the seven bishops just two days ago. It is because of a clearly drafted constitution that we are able to enjoy a democratic and all participative ecclesiastical system. I have no authority to talk about all of these things, but I would like to take an interesting quote from a book written by Dr. V. C. Samuel, an illustrious and internationally acclaimed historian of our church. The book was written as a biography of Vartasheril Thirumeni. Allow me to quote an excerpt. On hearing the news of Mar Dionysius' death in 1934, Justice G. Shangara Pillai, who had served as a special judge between 1913 and 1919, and who was then appointed as a judge on the High Court of Travancore, wrote a letter of condolence to the Catholicos of Kotayam. Justice Shangara Pillai, it should be noted, had come to know Mar Dionysius only from his depositions in court, from which he had formed an opinion of the man. The following extract from that letter will show the kind of impression the Metropolitan had made on a Hindu judge of unblameable character and reputation of moral grandeur. Mar Dionysius stood straight and fought for the preservation of a principle of central significance for the Church of Malabar. For this reason, he was subjected to false accusations and persecutions in various ways. He had to undergo suffering of a serious personal nature, but he endured them all as a dedicated warrior with courage and devotion that comes from a real Christian. This really made a great impact on me. Isn't this what we all strive to perfect in our lives? How this saint, through his actions, gave a Christ-like impression to many, including non-Christians. The results of his struggles were astonishing, and we try to exemplify the essence and nature of this saint, the prayerful life and determination of achieving truth without leaving the path of righteousness. Mar Dionysius was exalted as a saint and confessor to the faithful, and on the 69th feast day of Mar Dionysius, which is February 23, 2003, he was canonized by the Episcopal Synod of Malangara Orthodox Church, headed by His Holiness Basilios Marthoma Matthew II, the Malangara Metropolitan and Catholicos of the Malangara Church. Saint Dionysius is the second Indian to be canonized by the Malangara Church. And February 23rd is observed as the Saint's Feast Day. We pray for the intercessions of all the saints to make us strong and worthy to face the daily and eternal struggles, to make us worthy to be called the children of the Malangara Church, which demonstrates the lifetime works of many saints, like Mar Dionysius. I would once again like to thank everybody for giving me this opportunity. God bless. <laughs>